Apple vibe we on Lately I ain't even home I'm working trying to put myself on Ain't chillin' till I'm on my throne Apple vibe we on Hello guys Lately I ain't even home Boxing Block Center The home of Nigerian African Boxing And please if you're new to the channel Make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now Guys, let's get straight to it without hesitation. The unified heavyweight king of the whole universe and also the only two-time in favor like in the whole wide world. Anthony Joshua. Through Chase and Michael Hunter, the Docker. And Andrews Jr., the chameleon. Few years ago. Recently, by the way. Joshua is not a guy that talk too much. Joshua is not a guy that like to brag. Joshua is a very, very patient guy, a student of the sport of boxing, um, a guy that is not an egomaniac, a guy that is as calm as the star, as the as the as the ocean, or as the sea, a guy that is as vibrant and as that has got a visionary uh, insight of the sport of boxing. You know, the business of boxing have always tried to ruin Joshua's reputation. The so-called powers that be in boxing have always tried, always tried to make Joshua look like a ducker. They've always tried to make Joshua look like the bad guy. Joshua, all his life, throughout his life, since he's been in boxing, have given boxing nothing but the best moments. So far, so good. I still cannot recall uh, an epic match like Joshua versus Klitschko. Of course, there have been great fights uh, lately, but the Joshua Klitschko fight is a memorable one, and and it's and it's something uh, that I mean, is a fight that we all can even go back and watch again. But uh, Joshua recently threw shades at Michael Docker Hunter, and Andy Ruiz Jr., the chameleon. You know, Joshua talked about, uh, of course, he said in an interview where Michael Hunter heaped all praises on um, Andrews Jr., saying that, listen, he's been following him. Like, Joshua, you know, like, narrated everything, even though we've seen what we've seen the interview. That was before Joshua fought Andy Ruiz Jr., the chameleon in Saudi Arabia, though. Let's, of course, take a look at what Joshua said right here. He said, I quote, uh, 12 minutes, 40 seconds into this interview, Hunters talked about his experience in training camp with Andrews Jr. ahead of our rematch in Saudi Arabia. When I took an L, I made zero, zero excuses, filmed it, and bounced back. When he lost, he made hella excuses, a lot of excuses. Listen to Michael Hunter, a heavyweight that was in his training camp sparring and training with him side by side as he bossed on my undercard December 7, 2020. Heavyweights are big guys with small hearts. That can't handle sources or defeat. That's why I don't miss in my industry. Too tough. I say, I mean, too tough or too much. And the worst is most people listen to the BS. Those are the words of the unified heavyweight king of the whole universe, Anthony Joshua. Joshua is very, very like he's an the guy is a visionary, like I said before. Not a guy that talk too much. And a lot of people wonder why people like Joshua like that. The reason why people like Joshua is because of his realness. Okay. Joshua has got a side of him that not everyone not everyone has seen, and a side of him that really comes out. But when he does, each time he does, you know, the guy has really like he's been holding it in his stomach and just wanted to unleash it, wanted to unveil it, wanted to talk about it. And he got fed up. Just like the situation with uh, Tyson Fury. I'm going to touch, touch, touch on that. But it is quite clear that Joshua is he's just uh, throwing shades at Michael Hunter and Andrews Jr. And of course, the heavyweight Dockers 
in the division, um, the divas in the division, who talk all the talk in the world and don't fight. This recently has been going on with the American fighters. I mean, uh, it's it's a sad it's a sad time. I must say because America boxing used to be one of the best. The best used to fight the best. Nowadays, American since the Mayweather era, America boxing have just gone. You know, they, they only they always go missing when it comes to big fight or fries himself out. It's just a fact. Uh, of course, it's clear that Michael Hunter and Anthony Joshua are not in good terms. Uh, Team Joshua have uh, invited Michael Hunter many times, a couple of times, for a spa, and this guy always say, "Oh, I want to, I want, I want to fight. I don't want to, I don't want to spy anybody. Like, I see if the guy is uh, his Muhammad Ali, or the guy is Lewis, Lewis, or the guy is about the fit, which is not. He's already, he already got beat by uh, Alexander Usyk. Okay, and then when he got a big fight. Against Egovich, he dug that fight so bad to the point where, you know, he can he couldn't even explain. He had to shift blame to Eddie Hearn. You know, have to shift. He, you know, he he said Eddie Hearn was the was the was the cause, the reason why the fight did not happen, bro. Yeah, anyway, is what it is, man. Bro, uh, Todd Jackman, what do you make of this to me right here from the new fight with King of the Universe, Joshua? <clears throat> well, Michael Hunter's um his I honestly, at this point, his words don't mean anything to me because I, I feel like he's 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 either jealous of Anthony Joshua or just hates that he has more success. What? Let's just make one thing clear: Michael Hunter's words are, you know, he as of right now he's been lying to everybody. If I, I don't know if I don't know if everybody recalls when, um, but just before the fight. You know when uh, the news media were all over Andy, Andy Ruiz. You know this and that. Even before that, let me make one thing clear. As Andrew, they've been making excuses for Andrew Ruiz for such a long, long time before he got in the ring with Anthony Joshua. Oh, Anthony, uh, Andrew Ruiz only had uh, two, three weeks to spar before he got before he got in the ring with Anthony Joshua. He wasn't ready. That that's a I keep telling people that is a whole bunch of bullshit. That that's one excuse right there. That is one of the excuses right there. Andrew Ruiz fought that uh, 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 Alexander Dimitrenko, if I'm not mistaken. And then he, and then he heard Eddie Hearn doesn't have a a a a, a, a part a, a, a fighting partner for Anthony Joshua, and then that's when he called, and he got his opportunity. Andrew Ruiz was a, just finished camp, and when he beat David Tanko, he went straight into another, another, um, another camp. So he was he was more than ready. That's those are the excuses I keep hearing. Oh, he wasn't ready. Andrew was more than ready, and then he lost the fight to Anthony Joshua in Saudi Arabia, and then they gave it, and then they just made another more excuse. Oh, he was overweight, this and that, just because. Uh, Andrew Ruiz supposed we came out of shape or this and that does not mean Anthony Joshua has to go light. It's called a championship fight. It's a reason why it's called a, 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 a championship fight. You have to be prepared. That has nothing to do with Anthony Joshua. He has one job. That's take the belt from Andrew, Andrew Ruiz. And Michael Hunter said, oh, Andrew Ruiz is ready. He's going he's gonna to beat Anthony Joshua, this and that. That's one. And then we get in the ring, he loses. And Michael, uh, Michael Hunter was still talking crap. We know, like BBC said, we've heard in the past that, uh, that uh, Michael Hunter was invited to camp, but he said no. He wants to fight Anthony Joshua. Listen, all they see Anthony Joshua is nothing but dollar, dollar signs. At this point, I got to make something clear to Anthony Joshua, man. These guys, they don't respect you. They only, they only see dollar signs above your head, and that's what they want to do. They just want to fight you and just take and make money. You're the, you're, you're the man. You're the landlord. Bro, you need to make it known that nobody, nobody's going to get to you unless they prove themselves. As, as of right now, Michael Hunter hasn't proved himself. That, that little draw controversy law, that, uh, draw to... Um, Alexander Povyekin, that's that's a uh, unfortunately it, it it tells you a lot about Michael Hunter. I'm not impressed. 
He wasn't able, he wasn't able to take out uh, Alexander Poviekin at that age. You know, if if it was if it was the if it was uh, the uh, Alexander Poviekin that that fought AJ, he would have knocked out he would have knocked out uh, uh, Michael Hunter a long time. And Michael Hunter has the balls to tell uh, to say that Usyk will beat Anthony Joshua because he couldn't beat him. That's that's just a that's an ego trip going on with Michael Hunter. Nothing but ego trip. And I and I personally think Michael Hunter has been duck. Yes, he did duck uh, um, uh, Philip Hergovich and so many other fights that you know he claims he wants to fight, but then he ends up ducking them. Unfortunately, that's just who Michael Hunter is. And let's see if he even gets a shot at Anthony Joshua. Like I said, if I was Anthony Joshua, I'll make it known and tell them, "Hey, man, prove yourself before you even get in the ring with me." As of, as of right now, I don't see you as I don't see you as competition. You're the landlord, man. Make it known. That's what I'm gonna end it with. Thanks, brother. I do appreciate it. You've heard it, guys, from our brother Todd Jack Bay. Stay tuned for more exclusive banger right here, and you know what it is. You know what it is. Yes, the home of Nigerian boxing. Yes, the home of African boxing. I beg, make una click that goddamn like button right now. That's what I see. Cheers, guys.